Well, I think we're finally at the point where we'd like to get everything locked up. The doors are on, all set to go. We might just as well. So to do that, we're going to be using a full mortise entry set. If you're not familiar with one of these, what it is is where the entire mechanism is in this little metal box. It makes it much more durable and also a much more secure lock to install in a door. The tricky thing, though, is you have to cut out the area of the door to slide this whole thing in. Well, any of that does get a little... Uh, a little tricky to do that, doesn't it? Well, you have to be careful. I mean, you have to measure carefully. And I actually like to drill my holes through first and then line up with your mortise. The big thing is it's a four inch deep hole by seven inch in an inch and three quarter door. So you gotta be accurate, you know, when you plunge cut in. So that's why you like to start by putting the holes in to get the right depth and kind of getting everything moving in the right direction. The main key is to get as much bulk material out as you can. But even once you get that four inch deep hole, then you still have to chisel off for that plate on the front. And that's the part you're seeing. That's where it really shows, because you want that plate to be exactly flush and have no room around it at all. So it takes a little time. You basically knife it, come back with a sharp chisel, and kind of clean everything out. And you constantly check your depth, and it just take your time, and it and usually works out. So once you get your mortise all cleaned out, you just slide the mortise box into the opening, like so. The plate goes in just a little bit further. Then attach it into place with a couple of screws. Now the shed has kind of a rustic look to it, so we wanted to kind of pick up that sort of feel in the hardware we're using. So what we're going with is a solid bronze entry set. This was produced in a sand cast mold, so it just has a little bit of a texture to it. It doesn't have a real hard manufactured look necessarily, and we're going with a flat black to match the rest of our hardware here. And this is a living finish, they call it. So what happens is people use this and their oils get on it. Uh, it'll just slightly change the patina. Again, it just gives it such a, a nice high quality look to the overall thing. On the inside we're using a lever handle, on the outside a thumb latch, and those get attached to the mortise box with three screws. A couple nice features about this handle set is that it has a built-in dead bolt on the top, keeps it nice and clean on the inside, and then it has a privacy passage lock. Privacy, push the button, passage, push the top, privacy. Pretty cool. Now typically your strike plate would go on a jam, but with two doors like this, we put it on the astragal. So with our strike in place, we can now test it out. Ready? See if it fits, huh? See how it works. Oh yeah. Nice substantial feel. That is beautiful. What do you think, Lenny? It's got some closure, huh? Very nice, yeah. Oh, that's great.